uh, wish is something like uh, I would I would say I would look forward for a kind of more a kind of interlinking with, between the artists and we carry it we carry much more sort of sharing thoughts and how I don't know we need to figure it out but I hope that will happen and it's wonderful to meet so many people and you know it's, it's amazing I, I can't really express that <laughs> I'm too much excited maybe so that's it I'm, I mean wish for happiness that's what I can say for 10 seconds the same happy mood what we have now should be carried on that's it that's a tough question however my wish into future is that the sri lankans would realize sooner than than later that that how how we have been justifying violence and and how and how how we are perpetrating it all this time and and come to realize uh, come to a point that will take collective responsibility to to see stop it as as much as possible or to, or to see this see through the violence and, and and the responsibility that each individual each individual individual single is buddhist person has to carry on this this issue that is the wish wish for the future well no more war no more contradiction anymore in between people no more pain and hurt that's my wish simple wish for the future i hope that there's more understanding between different countries different people different religions different different ideas of people because yeah i mean especially now i mean we are so far with te technology and other developments but each country still has to deal with this racism and yeah it's very sad to see especially the latest developments in initiatives i mean it's still a long way to go and uh, i hope that we we get out of this mess some some day somehow <laughs> yeah what i think about the next millennium uh, about the future is how to think about the actual problematic to bring it them into in the future i think there's a kind of time difference between what is future what is actuality in the different part of the world for example in the western context after you know 150 years in the industri industrialization and uh, modernity and uh, all the high technology now we think about the future more relating to the nature condition anti pollution and all the, you know things concerned the surrounding and uh, the health of human being now but what's happened the future for china for asia's country is a modernity is a more contemporary more technology possible and so on without thinking about what's happened after that so i think the future if we can think about future it's just to think about what's happened now in a different part of the world so as i travel a lot uh, i spend 200 days a year in a different part of the world working with different contexts so now i can say through all my trip i find i observed i think about this time difference about actuality and the future in the different country and different part of the world so i think what i can do what i wish to do as an artist just through all my projects to think about this time difference between the different part of the world to think about the real future of for the whole human being my wish is always that i could keep um the inspirations to making painting for for my mother because uh, i am i don't think it's it's uh, it's good it's going to be enough for for her uh which was uh, which she have done for me so uh, uh really the um for a painting for me now is really important because of my mother that's that's make me encourage me 
Well, I, I practice Buddhism and Buddhism says that the things you do for others are more important than the things you do for yourself. And, and so my wish is that, that I can do things for others and that, that in fact everybody, all sentient beings can be saved and, and can go forward into the future. Hopefully, uh, I want to make, uh, uh, I want to see and uh, I want to find the uh, invisible border among the different races. races. And uh, so in the near future, I want to make uh, um, different work, different uh, project, um, as an artwork, like this. <laughs> So about uh, this uh, indivisible, invisible border um, as well. The desire for the future, David, is uh, peace for my country and for planet Earth, for all of humankind. And uh, you know, for the first time in the history of humankind, man can look down on planet Earth. And it's the most beautiful sight that I have seen and probably I will ever see. And it's, uh, you need some management and uh, there has to be one standard for all humans. It's a small place, it's a beautiful place. And my wish for the future is uh, peace for all humankind. For myself and for my family and for my tribe and for my people. So that's the reason that I'm uh, doing this one, not only for myself, yeah, for myself and for my people back home. So, uh, I don't know what I mean, I, it's, a bit, bit, uh, it's a bit hard to you know, understand that uh, question, you know. But uh, to, it's future for me, you know, for my children and to my great, great grandchildren, which is good. Uh, contemporary art really need that kind of smart, you know, yeah. And the other reason is, uh, you know, my, we, we, later we talked, my generation people uh, through the cultural revolution theory, yeah. Most culture is really, you know, really, um, I think most culture is really against uh, break the tradition and against uh, Western modern culture. They want to build a new culture, yeah. So, I think it's uh, for contemporary artist should be learn something from this idea. You know, uh, we should be rethinking we are tradition, cultural, and we also need to really clearly think about the Western contemporary culture, then build we are self-culture, yeah. My wish for the next century is, um, yes, precisely communications, more open dialogues. Uh, I, I see that as the, the hope for uh, the future, yeah. um, communication uh, among different uh, people, uh, acknowledgement of differences, yeah. and uh, for the occasion here, it was, it was really a great platform for all these different things that come together. And, um, face to face to communicate with each other. It is irony, of course, in this tech, uh, advanced technology age or information age, that we claim in one minute, one second, we can have uh, communications. But then I realized that people are more uh, ease, at ease communicating with a computer screen or a television screen. And people actually feel rather embarrassed when they have to come face to face with, with human beings. So I think this coming face to face to have communication and dialogue is a really important thing and it's something that I, I, um, I treasure a lot, yeah. My wish for the future, I guess, is um, perhaps one day humanity will become fully conscious um, and responsible for the reality we are creating, I guess. Well, my wish for the future is that um, I would like to have... I, I would like to see things a little bit less pure, 
and um, because the idea of purity horrifies me. Um, I think the beauty of things, were of the, the, the environment, uh, of um, thinkings, of thoughts, is when impurity are being injected into purity. Um, and that's when everything happens. I always have. <laughs> there's always a wish, there's always some um, hope, and I think that's very important. But the most um, important thing for me now is like that I hope I can raise my son to be um, you know, as sweet as he is, as strong you know, inside and out, and that's, that's the most important thing that uh, matters to me now. And then other um, funda fundamental things like harmony, love, yeah, that's, I think that's most important for me. Yeah. In, in my work, I want to say something about myself, uh, the process of living, uh, the breeze of living, and my environment in, in Thailand. I, I want to keep the space of these things for the future. For the future life, life, art and culture will be one, uh, basically for my people, Uvea and Futuna, as well as uh, New Caledonia. I think the future is already here now, you know. Uh, I don't I'm not very good at planning for the future. I sort of deal with things day to day and uh, but I guess there's already uh, uh, it's already begun in some ways that people are more sort of uh, going beyond boundaries of nationality, beyond boundaries of race and religion. We are, we, like, like Australia is a very good example of a very multicultural situation. And I think this is a, going on all over the world. And, but there are still lots of uh, pockets of people, areas of, uh, and, and uh, society where it's still very strict and very restricted and very sort of close in some ways. I think this is a kind of contradiction that we are going through and it just needs to be resolved with time I think where there, there are pros and cons of this I guess because we look at certain cultures and we think oh it's disappearing because of you know the, the, the late capitalist system that we are, we are in where every society is going through where progress means going into that and it's a shame but it's, it's happening you know like when you think of a country like Tibet or Sikkim where they are very close from the outside world but at the same time what does that mean? You know, to retain that kind of identity, that kind of culture which is not sort of corrupted by foreign influences. In, and, and what does that mean in terms of foreign influences, you see? And I guess this kind of thing sometimes leads to a lot of conflict as well, which is unfortunate, but it's something that we have to go through. What is my wish for the future? I'm so sorry, but it sounds very cliché, but it's true, it's for peace and harmony. <laughs> My wish for the future would be... Beneath the stars, my ten guitars will play a song for you. And when you're with the one you love, this is what you do. Oh, dance, dance. Dance to my ten guitars Marty Strum And pretty soon you'll know just where you are In the eyes of love you'll see A thousand stars 
Oh, dance, dance, dance to my ten guitars.